I welcome all of you on your PDA <clears throat> and my this particular video is related to the interview preparation document of NIC National Informatics Center. Uh, many students have got called for the post of scientist C which is experience based post, post in NIC. Earlier it was scientist B and uh, scientist D also as I remember. Now uh, whenever you go for interview in any organization you understand that uh, knowledge of that organization is required especially for experience based jobs why because you have to make a link of your present job with the job you are going to join i remember uh, last time there was a student who was in working in bsnl and in nic they asked you the question like what is the relation or the link between bsnl and nic so those kind of you know things you need to know and when they ask you why you want to join nic so that answer you can give only if you have some knowledge about NIC and uh, they ask you normally what are the various apps you have heard of, uh, what are the main products of a particular organization you know, like you know you must have known Arogya Setu uh, app uh, during Covid, uh, many uh, of us use that and uh, Beam app you know and digitalization of uh, economy what are the various aspect of that so NIC is working into all these domains so certain terms like e-governance good governance ICT infrastructure in the country for you know central government state government Panchayati Raj so this particular organization NIC is work, working in all these domains so this document you can download from our website on Europedia at the end of this document I'll uh, answer the question why you want to join NIC so see this entire document I'm not going to teach this but yes I'm going to tell you what is this document all about and what you should know so uh, in the beginning uh, some information is provided about National Informatics Center like it comes under METI Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology when was it established 1976 and it is the main objective is to provide technology solution technology driven solutions to central state government even Panchayati Raj districts and all so it is a technology partner of the government and uh, you know provides design various IT system as I gave you example like Arugya Setu app and Bheem app this was designed. So various ICT infrastructure are provided to the government. So various emerging technologies which we talk about today like artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science you know all these things are used and developed by ICT uh, for the government. So <coughs> nationwide ICT infrastructure to support e-governance services. So uh, you know this present government started this digital India mission the flagship program of this present government is digital India that means to make India as uh, digital economy or uh, knowledge economy. Now for implementing that and making it you know uh, uh, that particularly in that direction ICT uh, this NIC is working in that particular direction. So e-governance is doing the governance through you know technology using technology. Good governance means the government system which is uh, transparent which is honest which is responsive to the requirement of people which is responsible so that kind is government is called res, uh, uh, good governance. So ICT or use of technology to make the governance good governance that is the objective of this. So uh, you know how to use the technology to automate and accelerate various e-governance uh, you know policies e-governance programs and uh, digital India program of this present government as I told you. So NIC is in 36 states union territories and 737 district centers so that is all over India NIC has its offices and uh, various infrastructure of ICT is uh, NIC is uh, in different districts and provides different kind of uh, you know ICT services to the government. Okay then <coughs> you know district magistrate and district information officers you know district magistrate is the chief executive officer for government in the district and he has the responsibility to implement various government policies in the district level. So to provide enable him with the technology it is the responsibility of uh, NIC and normally we find NIC office in each district. So 
uh, execute and implement e-governance and digital India initiative at the grassroots level. Uh, that is uh, to make the government more responsive, transparent, efficient. So this is whatever is written is the main purpose of uh, NIC. So you, you know, it will help you to <clears throat> frame your answer nicely. And also in this document, whatever you find like digital India likha hua hai, disha likha hua hai, e-governance likha hua, to aapko in sab cheezon ka pata hona chahi, ye cheezen hai kya. So <laughs> implementing nationwide e-governance products and platforms, <clears throat> Uh, execute various IT projects of government and uh, use of ICT at each level of the government, center, state, district, judiciary, legislative uh, level, all the levels. And government has different uh, flagship program like Swachh Bharat Mission, My Gov, E Hospital, My Government, this E Court, E Transport, Transport. So these all are implemented by NIC. I give you example of E Court like. Recently, there was a news that uh, whosoever wants to visit Supreme Court of India, usko wahan jaake pass lene ke liye line mein nahi lagna padega. Wo pehle pass le sakta hai. You can take the pass, entry pass, and then you can go. You need not to wait in the queue, saving a lot of your time and making th things very systematic. So all this infrastructure uh, for the public is created by NIC. <clears throat> now, there are certain uh, programs uh, which you should be aware. Prayas kya hai? You should know what is the meaning of Prayas. So just go through once what is the meaning of Prayas. To visualize the progress of the government or about its flagship schemes. Jo bhi government ki main schemes hai, unki progress dekhna ki wo kaisa chal raha aur usko monitor karna. Uske liye Prayas is one of the uh, framework. Or wo data driven framework hai. Get a lot of data and see how government uh, uh, performance is there in each flagship scheme. Similarly, e-office. Like this is also part of Digital India program only. Like simplified, responsive, effective, accountable, transparent working in the government offices. Uske liye e-office create kiya gaya hai aur wo basically it provides a digital solution to various office related uh, work, day to day office related work. So that is e-office. Similarly, there is uh, Bhavishya. Bhavishya is a tracking system jo logon ko uh, <clears throat> timely issuance of pension payment order PPO for timely issuance of PPO Bhavishya is created as a tracking system only one or two lines you should know what is this scheme all about Pradhan Mantri Kisan now that is implementation of Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi scheme it's a, it's a portal actually uh, which provides the trans helps to transfer the funds in the accounts of the farmer so digital India mission was also like directly money will go to the beneficiary intermediary will be removed so nowadays you know direct money goes to the account of the people jin ko dena hai if farmers are to be given some kind of uh, government support or some government funding some government scheme is there so directly they, that will go to their account that is PM Kisan E Gram Swaraj that is to basically digitalize the panchayat. You know, India has three tier of government, central government, state government and panchayati raj bodies. To digitalize panchayati raj system, also e-gram swaraj is created. This is basically a accounting app for panchayati raj system and uh, it was developed as a part of panchayat enterprise suit under e-panchayat mission mode project. So, I mean, this is again you can give as example how it is helping uh, each domain of government government e shram uh, it is initiative of ministry of labor and employment to build the aadhar authenticated comprehensive national database for unorganized worker you know organized workers are which are working in some company which is a registered company or which are employees in some uh, you know well established organization but unorganized worker who are working in some organization which is not even registered like those who are doing their own work uh, in the field they are working so unka bhi sara data bank ikattha karna aadhar data bank that is e shram is created similarly friends e hospital like uh, healthcare delivery uh, is to be improved so nic developed e hospital e blood bank online registration system and all these things were developed by uh, NIC so that also you should be aware Bhu Naksha 
so that is nothing but a uh, cadastral mapping software developed by NIC using open source application and libraries uh, purpose is to digitalize uh, digitize entire map maps of the revenue department has these maps if you want to know what is your area what is your land then you go to revenue department and then they show you a lot of maps so uh, now it is digitized so that means you can see the digital form of that your map so that is uh, NIC is developing that such a Bharat mission was uh, started by this particular government as it came in power and uh, now such a Bharat mission Grameen so that is to get the data India has six lakh villages open defecation free villages Jinme open defecation nahi hoga how many villages are already open defecation free and also that entire data is to be collected such Bharat mission may Grameen actually the objective of such Bharat mission Grameen was to sustain open defecation free status of all the villages and to improve the level of cleanliness <coughs> you know so and solid and liquid waste management and the purpose was till 2024 this is all is to be done and this uh, basically Grameen provides the e-governance solution including mobile app or other uh, similar kind of you know, technology solution and uh, different departments are involved in this to check the progress so open defecation free agar koi village ho gaya hai to uska future mein whether it is remaining open defecation free or not that entire progress is to be checked in this similarly my government is the platform which is launched to ensure the engagement of citizen in decision making which will make it good governance so participatory government I mean let's involve people in the decision making how can we do that maybe uh, through technology they we can uh, take their opinion uh, unka discussion survey quiz uh, aisa bahut si cheeze karwai ja sakti hain and people can be involved in the decision making process so my government is i mean involving people in the decision making participatory form of government and that makes it good governance system also digital india is to make a country as a knowledge economy and uh, make the citizen electronic electronically capable to improve the online infrastructure you know nowadays you know you do online payment even everybody who is doing small work also google pay is being done you know all these you book the cabs you everything so technology is playing a crucial role in making the lives of the people simplified or comfortable so <clears throat> just go through that and this uh, digital india program was launched by uh, prime minister on 1st july 2015 and it's a flagship program there are so many things which come under this like bharat net make in india startup stand up india these are other schemes actually and uh, using these schemes uh, there has to be a huge uh, change in the country so bharat mala project sagar mala project make in india startup india stand up india corridors like bharat mala and sagar mala these all things basically were flagship programs of government so e governance uh, initiative of the government is mainly you know is uh, uh, taken forward by uh, national informatic center so there are so many e-governance projects. you should know that uh, what are the various e-governance projects which make the government more efficient and simplified and effective and transparent so nic national informatic center is the body which actually is enabling the government for all these things e kranti national e-governance plan 2.0 so there are you know some projects mission mode projects which are to be completed in the mission mode and they are related to health education passport police court so jobi government ke main projects hain e kranti means we are to do complete those project in mission mode and the vision is transforming e governance for transforming governance emerging technologies there are different technologies uh, and the different uh, technologies which are going to play a crucial role in coming years like artificial intelligence is going to play a very crucial role in the lives of people machine learning uh, data science so uh, national informatic center has already set up the center of excellence for artificial intelligence data science ye center of excellence for blockchain technology to uh, iska kya benefit hoga what is blockchain technology so that you know various projects will be handled at center and state level Collaboration between governments, public and private sectors will be 
consolidated blockchain technology will promote use of this technology for uh, uh, providing the solution so every technology uh, has certain effect on the governance so how can we make use of blockchain technology artificial intelligence data science to make the governance more effective or good governance and hence bring positive change in the lives of people similarly blockchain as a service b a a s that was also uh, the infrastructure provided by nic so that helps the government department to make use of blockchain services uh, basically uh, to you know make the its uh, activities more effective <clears throat> what are the key features of blockchain technology these are the advantages of blockchain technology this is how it basically not advantage but key aspect so what is blockchain technology what do you know about that and how blockchain technology can be helpful in making the elections more transparent and uh, foolproof or any particular application so what are the applications of blockchain technology the questions can be asked from you these questions can be asked from you center of excellence for artificial intelligence so uh, basically uh, various human intelligence is to be uh, copied and uh, uh, by applying cognitive computing on this and uh, these are some of the applications of artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence you know uh, where core technologies just go through this artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning advantages of that and uh, yeah cloud service maharaj is megra sorry megraj is uh, the cloud service of nic which is being used from january 2021 so what is megraj you should know that what is artificial intelligence as a service a i a a s so artificial intelligence manthan artificial intelligence then nati so these names and what are the meaning of this please understand this also <clears throat> artificial intelligence tipani so artificial intelligence pariche just go through all these acronym and read what is the meaning of this similarly center of excellence of data analytics so you should know that uh, artificial this national informatics center is uh creating the center of excellence in uh, blockchain technology artificial intelligence data science and creating the ict infrastructure for government to basically make uh, the government as good governance now you should also know who is the minister of uh, communication minister of electronics and information technology so shri ashwini uh, vaishnav is the minister of railway he is the minister of communication minister of electronics also shri rajesh gera so national informatics center he is the director of nic and uh, also this nic comes under minister of electronics and information technology sometime we ask you what is who is the director of uh, nic and what is his background so he has done his uh, you know electrical engineering from bhu iit varanasi that also you should know then digital payment leading to growth of digital economy so demonetization policy in india which was you know uh, in 2016 november 8 2016 the this came demonetization came and uh, the cash was removed from the circulation and that aggressively promoted digital ecosystem in india so that decision of the government led to digitalization in india in a big way so then all these things you know uh, internet and smartphone penetration in india it led to the rise of e-commerce digital india make in india start startup india so all this ecosystem uh, evolved so just to go through this entire uh, document and you will get many things like upi card payment all these things you will be understanding what is the meaning of upi unified payment interface what is the name of upi of india and uh, Uh, it is created by national payment corporation of india so what is national payment corporation of india and uh, which body creates upi digi dhan uh, mission so what is digi dhan what do you understand by that so digital transaction in india so what is your view on digital transaction uh, you know in india and what is the target like 25 billion digital transaction by march 2018 were to be achieved so how many people are as of now using this bhim is very important bharat interface for money is very very important uh, it's a mobile payment app which is developed by uh, npci 
based on unified payment interface so this bheem bharat interface for money is actually bheem is created by this particular organization national payment corporation of india so i think i told in the beginning that bheem is created by national informatics center but bheem is not created by nic but nic is uh, promoting the use of all these technologies and making government capable to make use of it so scanning qr code and uh, uh, quick response code it is called uh, qr code so all these things actually are related to the technologies metaverse uh, Metaverse is something which is important. He might ask you, what do you understand by Metaverse? What are digital avatars? So what is the, uh, basically it is a virtual uh, world Metaverse, where uh, digital representative of individuals can be used actually, and make the entire thing more digitalized. So it is a space parallel to physical world. And what is the, like, you know, cryptocurrency is the, metaverse for a real currency you have real currency you can see the notes you can see the coin but then what is the cryptocurrency that is a virtual world that is example of metaverse only so how metaverse can be used for uh, basically uh, improving the governance in india or in country digital currency online shopping social media human digital humans all these things right so virtual reality and augmented reality uh, applications are basically the metaverse so virtual reality what is augmented reality what is metaverse those things you please go through data driven government is always better government data is the new oil data is the new fuel data is the oxygen uh, basically untapped potential so knowledge economy ke liye data is the fuel if you want that new economy is knowledge economy for the knowledge economy earlier was industrial economy uh, for that oil was the fuel but now knowledge economy data is the fuel so data is something which is very very important and uh, high speed network internet is required data analytics tools are required cloud computing is required so this is the new vision for the development application of artificial intelligence and uh, various programs right data is the core swachh bharat mission housing for all one nation one ration pradhan mantri ujjwala yojana so whatever project or whatever policy or whatever uh, you know program of the government flagship program if it is to be implemented properly then you need to have a lot of control on data effective data is very important bharat maps is empowering e governance through gis geographic information system and that is the catalyst for several transformational changes world over so gis platform is developed by uh, national informatics center uh, and uh, Bharat map is the example of that. So how NIC is playing crucial role in digitalization of the nation? That question in the interview many times is asked. It is creating the infrastructure for the government. It is creating the, it is a backbone of the government IT. National digital infrastructure is being created. Broadband internet access to the government is being provided. E-governance and public service delivery is being improved digitizing the citizen services, promoting financial inclusion. Uh, so by using this through platforms at Aadhaar and UPI, NIC is playing crucial role in that. It is also playing crucial role in innovation, research and development, capacity building. There are challenges, but then there are opportunities also. So challenges are like cyber security, data privacy. So uh, please go through cyber security, data privacy, and there are some laws also, Data Protection Act. So please go through Data Protection Act. In me, that can be asked to you. National Informatic uh, Center Service, NICSI, is the subsidiary of NIC. So just a little bit idea about uh, NICSI kya hai, what is this and uh, why is this created. Though this is also under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, but what are the main roles of that? Because it is a subsidiary, so that also you should know. NIC recently, launched work from anywhere portal online platform where you know connecting the business with skilled professional for remote work uh, actually it is created they just virtual intelligence tool is created Aadhaar authentication for prisoners so these are some of the developments why nic was in news it was in news because of certain things like uh, government cloud uh, was created so reliance geo platform 350 crore contract to operate 
cloud services at three NIC data centers in Delhi, Pune, Bhuvneshwar. So these news you please go through. Cyber security and data breaches. So some kind of uh, cyber attacks are the real challenge for NIC. So if we ask you what is the main challenge you should say, cyber security. Can you name some of the latest projects of NIC? Yes, work from anywhere portal. That is the one of the project. Then Tejas virtual intelligence tool, another project. Aadhaar authentication for prisoners. Then secure cloud solution for government email. National e-vidhan application. Then Bhu Naksha is the another such project. Digital agricultural platforms. Then these are some of the projects. So why NIC was in recent news? What are various projects of the government? And why you want to join NIC as scientist? So contributing to national development and uh, these are some of the reasons like uh, national development may I there's a as a scientist I just want to be the part of projects of the government national building projects are there I will get the opportunity to work in challenging and diverse work environment variety of projects are there so I'll get the opportunity sir to work in cutting edge technology uh, I have growth and learning opportunities so these are the reasons why I want to join NIC as a scientist stable and rewarding career so these are some of the reason I get this good career I get uh, growth and learning opportunities challenging and diverse work environment national development may contribute these are the reasons uh, why I want to join NIC so friends go through this document understand very well and the moment you will get four or five minutes to explain what do you know about NIC do you know some of our uh, app apps or our products why you want to be part of NIC your present work how it is linked with NIC those answers you can very well give interview is a very very important uh, thing for job especially when it is experience based job so if you're going for scientist C post of NIC don't miss this uh, document prepare it really well so that you are in position to answer the questions in the interview thank you